Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 46 from GATE DA24 exam. Now this question is based on the DBMS concept, DBMS subject and based on functional dependency concept. Okay. Now the question is given the relation schema R, so R is given to us and set of functional dependencies and this particular functional dependence is given to us. Which one of the following functional dependencies can be derived from the above set? So we need to find out which among the following functional dependencies which can be derived by using this particular functional dependency set. And this is MSQ quotient. So multiple options are correct here. Okay. Now what does this particular thing mean? Can be derived from the above set. So we can get functional dependency by applying the Armstrong axioms, okay, Armstrong axioms or the best way to solve this type of question is to simply take the closure of left hand side of every option, simply take the closure of left hand side of every option and see whether right hand side is present in the closure or not, right. So simply take the closure of left hand side and see whether right hand side is present in the closure or not. So let's check for the first option A. So if I take the closure of V and W, so how to take the closure? So VW will consist of VW itself first, right? Then from V or from W or from VW, can I determine any other attribute? So here, you, you know I want V or W or VW, right? So here if you observe V determine X. So it means that I can add X in the closure of vw now can i add any other attribute from v from w or from x or combination of any two let's see u is not present so we cannot use this now what about this particular thing wx determine y and wx determine z so already we have wx in the closure but from wx i can get y also and i can get z also so i will include this in particular closure right now, any other closure, any other attribute can we get? So, we have used this, this, this one, but this thing we cannot use because u is not present in the closure, right? So, the closure of vw is basically this one. Now, if you observe the first option vw, in the vw closure, we are getting yz, right? So, yz is there. So, I can say if the closure of vw consists of vw xyz, it means that vw determine xyz, right? And by decomposition rule, I can also say that VW determine X or Y or Z or combination of any two, right? VW can determine YZ also, right? So the first option is correct here because in the closure of VW, we are getting YZ. So I can say, yes, this option is correct. Now, if you observe option number C and D, same thing, VW, VW is there. But anyway, we have taken the closure. But if you see option number C in the VW closure, we are not getting U. So U is not present in the closure of VW. It means that I cannot derive. It means that I cannot derive this particular functional dependency from VW. Because the closure of VW must have U. Then only we can say VW determine U. So this option is not correct here. What about option number D? Yes, Y is present, right? In the closure of VW, Y is there. So I can say VW determine y right so option d is correct here now what about option number b wx so simply take the closure of wx here and see what you are getting so we so wx will consist of wx itself right in the closure now see from w or from x or from wx can we get any other attribute now if you observe this particular functional dependency and this functional dependency from v from wx i am getting y and from wx i'm also getting z right yz right it means that in the closure of wx i'm getting yz it means that i can say wx determine yz right so option b is also correct here so in this particular question option a b and d are the correct option okay simple question for two marks you just know how to find out the closure and if in the closure if this particular attributes are there then i can say hand side determine this particular attribute okay simple concept first but first you should know how to find out the closure of an attribute very very important closure of an attribute 
I already covered this thing in my uh, course. You can just go through that. Okay. I hope you understand this particular uh, question and the concept of closure, right? And if you want me to continue this particular series of previous year gate DA solution, please hit a like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So that's it from this particular video. Thank you.